Welcome to another video of the food diary from Mountain. In today's video, we're going to make the delicious rajma masala. This delicious rajma, I have taken 250 grams of rajma which is soaked overnight, about 15 cloves of garlic, 1 inch of ginger, 3 green chilies, a few stems of coriander, a handful of coriander leaves, 5 red rosy tomatoes, and 3 medium onions okay stop so if you are not subscribed to the channel subscribe now or i'll eat your cookies also follow my food account on instagram masterclass there are seven so step one we got to boil the rajma this. a teaspoon of salt and cook this for five whistles step one take four cloves of garlic and chop them fine Cut a small piece of ginger and chop it finely. Keep the chopped and garlic ginger aside. Next, chop the onions. Now, cut the side. Now, roughly chop, chop the tomatoes. Add in two chilies, cut the ginger into quite small pieces, add in it and the garlic and the stems of coriander and all this you need to grind to a paste. One chili I am keeping aside. Now grind this mixture to a nice paste. Now let's begin with the process. Heat a kadai. Take a tablespoon of ghee, I have used here pure ghee, a teaspoon of jeera, oh. come in seeds and let it have a splutter. Now you add in ginger garlic which I have cut earlier and fry it slightly. Okay, the ginger and garlic has become nice and fragrant. Now add in your chopped onions. And fry it till it is golden. So the onions are nice and golden. Now add in a teaspoon of chili powder. Give it a good mix. And then add in this one teaspoon of coriander powder. Give it a nice mix. Add in this half a teaspoon of amchur powder. Give it a nice final mix. And then we add in tomato puree. Now fry this tomato puree till it releases oil. Meaning it has to be fried for quite some time. Now add in this chili. The one chili which was kept aside. And mix this till it releases oil from the side. Now add in half a teaspoon of garam masala. Add some salt to taste. Mix it well. One tablespoon of tomato sauce. Mix it nicely. You see the tomato mixture is nicely cooked. You can see the oil released outside. And now it's time to add in the rajma. Mix this well and in few minutes it's going to be ready to eat. You can press in the rajma to give a little body to the liquid. Add in the remaining liquid of the rajma to get a little bit of gravy also. Tender and it's ready to enjoy. Okay, stop. Uh, wait, if you have not 
सब्सक्राइब टू आर चैनल सब्सक्राइब नाउ हिट द बोल बेल नोटिफिकेशन